How can you go about interacting with coworkers and colleagues or even family members without inciting jealousy? So the flip side is, is to recognize, and this is important, everybody around you is also comparing themselves with you. And this will happen even when they say things like, uh, you know, imagine you win that coveted promotion. You've been trying, you've been working really hard. You really think it was well deserved and you got it. And now somebody comes up and says, oh, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. You really deserved it. Now, naturally, we're going to say, yeah, you know, I really did deserve it. Thank you very much. I'm happy that you're happy for me. Now, really, truly, there could be some envy in what they're feeling. And it's important for us, it's incumbent for us to recognize that when we achieve successes, other people may also envy us our success, mm -hmm. even if they would agree that we deserved it, we worked right. really hard for it. We are going to be targets of envy. Now, what can we do? There are a couple of things. First, we could be modest. So when you remodel your kitchen, you don't have to post all of the photos onto Facebook. You don't have to give everybody a tour whenever they come over. It may be your best friends you can show them, but you don't want to broadcast everything you've done and in a way that you, know, you should recognize might also induce envy. Second, you want to, want to make sure that right after some good successes have come to you, other people may actually resent you for that. And you might want to build bridges with people. Mm. We find that, for example, people that have had successes trust others a little bit too much. So this is when, after you've had successes, people want to pull you down. And you can do things like share some of the challenges you've had along the way, or share some of the setbacks that you've had. Share credit, say, look, this really reflects a group effort. All of us got us here. It wasn't the work I did alone. And I want to really acknowledge other people. And sometimes we can be more modest as we reveal information. So when you go to mm -hmm. Fiji, you have that great experience. And people ask, hey, how is your vacation? If you tell them that, well, it rained a lot and they lost my luggage, but you know, it's great to be home. That's often enough, as opposed to, oh, let me show you the photos. Here are the 6,000 photos of me in the shark cage. <laughs> and you know, the, there are ways for us to be more modest sometimes. Right. Um, and I think it's helpful to recognize, in our minds, we don't think that other people are going to be envious of us nearly as often as they may mm. be.